Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today, it's already setting, the sun is setting, um, but today, well, we don't need it, we got lights all over the place. Today I want to go over uh, exactly what it is that I made uh, off camera. I did a good amount of work, as you can see here, I've done some texturation along the water. This is probably the texture I'm going to go for, uh, just coarse dirt and brown concrete powder, I think that's really good. Um, just along the water because the grass, uh, wa typically there's not grass that leads right up to the water. Um, and so I think this is a good border. Um, we're going to be doing that today. Uh, we're going to be working on this, deepening it and texturizing it and hopefully finishing it. Uh, I don't know. I can't promise that, but uh, hopefully by ne next episode after this one, this will be done and we can work on the surrounding area. I think that's the goal. Um, and I changed the path. Uh, currently we have this coarse dirt and it works well with grass, but it really blends in when you have all the podzil in the area. Um, and so I don't think it works too great with the podzil. So I changed all the coarse dirt to path block. Uh, and I wanted to show you, so I made this little camp area, like I said I was going to, uh, and I think it looks really good. It's got little hammocks, campfire and stuff. And I think it's just a really, like a small little life spot. And it, uh, it tells like a little bit of a story. Like you can set, you can sit down, enjoy the fire, hang out and stuff. And it's just like a little camp. I don't know. I think it's really fun. Uh, I've worked on this area quite a bit. Uh, this area is pretty much done beyond, uh, besides needing this texturized uh, and this area. So I made this. Uh, there, this one's nothing special. Uh, there's not anything in it currently. Um, the nice thing about all these caravans is I think we're going to get all the interiors done just because they're so small. Uh, so that's one thing that's really nice about these types of builds. Um, but anyways, so this one, this I have made into kind of a laundry type area, and I think it looks really good. I really like it. Um, so it's got like these clotheslines and you've got these little clothes and stuff. I tried to make them different, uh, just a little different to add a little variety. Um, but the main, like the star of this, I think is this right here. So a lot of times if you want to have like a cooking water pot or something like that, um, you just put fire underneath it and to get the particle effects. But I really like this route the route I took here because I really like the magma block and I think it looks good for embers, but it doesn't um, let particles through. And so I just, instead of the fire being solely under the pot, I put these stairs and since they're transparent, uh, they'll let the particles through. And so we've got fire under each stair and underneath. And so it actually, it still looks like it's kind of, cooking and stuff it's still heating up and stuff and it also looks like embers so i think that's really cool uh so the idea is like they would wash their clothes in boiling water or something to sanitize them because i really doubt that they're using any sort of you know detergent or anything like that uh this is probably as clean as it gets uh, but i thought it was a really unique idea and kind of cool uh, so if you didn't know uh fire particles smoke particles and stuff go through stairs and slabs um and uh, they would go through the magma block if but it's really the fire underneath the stairs that you're seeing it's not really the magma block fire um, but i thought it was really cool and so inside here we've got just a little drying rack sort of thing is what i was going for with the fences i think that's really good uh, the banners use a butt ton of wool like six wool for one banner come on that's so i don't know it seems a little silly to me uh interiors are done as well, this one's very standard, uh, nothing special there, but this one has a little small thing that I don't know why, but I just really like it. Um, it's this little table. It's just, I, I thought, you know what? They probably need a little table up here because rainy days, they'll want to be up here reading a book, but then they also need a little place to eat and sit down and stuff. So made a little table, thought that was really cool. And I'm putting fen uh, fence gates here because I'm lazy and I'm tired of having to walk all the way around. So, yeah, I uh, got that going. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to start in on this project. I think we're going to not do a time lapse this time. I think what we're going to do is more just like check in updates. I think that'd be a good, good idea, a good change of pace because we've been doing a lot of time lapses and stuff recently. And I think that this would be a good 
change of pace and also time lapses are a little bit finicky sometimes with replay mod and it's kind of annoying sometimes to make so yeah uh i'm gonna get to work on this and deepening and stuff and then probably bring you back in and we can do some texture texturization uh together and then uh, hopefully get this all finished by next by the end of the episode would be lovely no idea if we will but anyways guys i'm gonna get to work and uh, i'll see you guys in just a little bit all right guys so we are back and the texturation actually is basically done at least the down here um so i'm gonna show you just real quickly what i've done and then i've got a little tiny project to do well that that that's not how you use a ladder um so what i've done is i mean around here I've just done what I said I was going to do. We've got a little bit of work on still over there, but I'm not going to do it quite yet because I don't know how I want to handle that area quite yet. I need to think through that a bit. Um, so the uh, this ended up being kind of like a squ tiny squid farm as well, which is kind of funny because they fall on the slabs. So underneath here, we've got... Uh, I used a mixture of uh, what I used here, uh, coarse dirt, gravel, uh, regular dirt, and then I put some mossy cobble just in random little areas, more near the top area, uh, not near the bottom. Um, and so yeah, the underneath I think looks, I mean, pretty decent for what we can do right now. Uh, see, that's what I mean. It's like they fall on the slabs and then die because they can't swim, and it's pretty actually kind of hilarious. Um, so this is what underneath is looking like currently. And now I'm really struggling with the idea of having this central piece. I don't really actually think I want it now. Um, I don't really think we need anything. I think what we could do instead is put little boats on the water, like little canoes um, or like a little raft or something like that. Um, but I think this sort of texturation will work for now oh and i use some brown concrete powder uh, well i guess it's just brown concrete um i think it looks good uh, i've been messing really messing with the texture pack also trying to get it updated so you guys can have it uh, and i'm really sorry for not being able to have it out sooner um, i'm just really trying to make it so it works uh, and i actually i'm debating with the idea of waiting and trying to update everything for 1.13 before actually releasing the rest of it. Uh, so you guys may have to wait till 1.13 unless it doesn't release for like another like four weeks or something it's stupid. Uh, if it, yeah, I don't know. It's an idea I'm playing with. Um, so this is what the underwater is looking like. I think it looks really good uh, and we'll see it see what it looks like in the new water textures a little bit later uh sorry it's a little late currently um but i think overall it looks pretty pretty good and i like what that area looks like with the coarse dirt and stuff the gravel i think really helps break up all the brown and all that jazz um, but i think it looks good so i think i'm going to remove the wool i think we're going to ixnay that idea and then i think Oh, I was going to show you something. Um, not necessarily show you something, but I was going to do something. Uh, so, these torches, as much as I like having lighting like this, I'm not a big fan of what the torches look like. So, I'm going to do a Janzy thing. If you know of Janzy, um, then you have probably, you've probably seen him. Uh, and he does this. And I think I'm going to go down three and go over. Probably not that way, actually. Now I think about it. Probably not a smart idea to go towards the water. Um, I'm going to go this way. One, two. And why is that lit? Oh, that was weird. Like, do you see that lighting? Like, that looks like it's brighter down there. It's very weird. But I'm going to put the glowstone here. And then do this and that. And so then, I don't know what the light level actually is here. So it's 9, 8, and that's probably because of the fire and all that jazz. But the glowstone also helps. 
Um, and so I'm just going to do that for a lot of these. I may keep a few. Like some I've already hidden. Um, like this one probably wouldn't make sense. I'll probably keep this. I might change it to a brown. Um, or get rid of it because this is here. Uh, probably can actually just get rid of it and just do this. Right like this. And this one I'm just going to go down and do that. And then actually rip shrub and do that. And I think that looks pretty good. And so I'm just going to go around and do that to a lot of these uh, little areas just to break it up a bit. And gosh, I don't know what that weird bug is. We may have to get rid of the bushy textures on the leaves. I really like them, but they're really glitchy for some reason like first i don't know why they're being so glitchy but they've been really weird like i've been getting a bunch of random black graphics happening and it's just very odd and it's kind of annoying me so i may get rid of them i don't know um it, i may make them separate how about how about that i also have no idea how to make them work in 1.13 and i'm trying to figure that out so, so i need to get on the 1.13 stuff um but yeah, so I'm going to do some of this and we'll get back with you. I'll get back with you uh, once I've done that. And hopefully we can maybe, I don't really know. Uh, this this really didn't take near as long as what I thought it was going to. So kind of threw this off. Maybe, I don't know. Let me work on these lights and then maybe I'll come up with an idea as to something to do. Uh, something else to do for this episode since it's going to be so early. All right, guys, so I have finished up the lighting and I think it looks pretty good. I actually really like it. Uh, there have been a, a few more spawns because of it, uh, because there's less lighting, but I think it overall looks w pretty good. I uh, just got it's basically just bushes now in areas where we used to not really have anything. We just had a carpet and I think it looks good. Obviously, I've kept a few. Because this area doesn't make much sense. Uh, actually, we could probably take that. We're going to be doing something that I didn't think that we'd be doing, but I decided to. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so the thing that we're going to be doing, and I'm actually really excited about it. I literally just came up with this design like on the fly. Um, and the idea is sprang from Grumpy Owl Gaming. Um, he, in his fifth episode fourth or fifth episode of his home series which you if you guys haven't checked out definitely check out grumpy owl gaming he's got a really cool series going on and it's really all about world building and lore and all that jazz and telling a story and i think it's really really cool this is the area we're working um he this is gonna be a fire we'll work out the fire in a bit get rid of all this probably shouldn't have broken it with the fortune uh, pickaxe but whatever so what are we doing? Uh, we've done that over there, and that didn't take near as long as I thought. So I decided, what should we have in place of caravans? Like, then in this area, it's not big enough to do a caravan. I originally had played laid one out to do, but it's not big enough. So I decided I'll clear this out and make a tent. I think we're going to make a tent today. And so I've moved, this one's now horizontal because now it should be able to fit in this area a little better. I need to come up with a one-story caravan design. I have no, it'd be a little weird looking, I think, but we may come up with a one-story design as well, just so we don't have a ton of two-story ones. I don't know. But anyways, that's not what we're doing today. And I'm really actually excited because I just came up with a design that's kind of, it's weird, but it's really cool, I think. Okay, so get these things out of here. Get out of here. Man, fortune really gives you a lot of seeds. Um, so this idea sprang from Grumpy Owl Gaming. Uh, the design is based off his, but I have modified it up quite a bit. Uh, because I was thinking, I guess the, reason, the, the reasoning for this weird shape is because this area is going to be more of a permanent gypsy camp sort of situation where i mean this is very set up this is very like they have lived here for quite a while and they don't necessarily don't have to move they have the ability to but they 
it, they don't really need to. It's kind of like Fable 2, they they have a gypsy camp and that's where the gypsies live, but they don't need to live. It's just their society outside of the normal society. Um, so let's see, where should this go? Let's go here. One, one two, three, four. Uh, we'll go here, actually. Because we need this to have one, two, three spots. And then that's where the other wool piece will go. And basically all this does, all we've got to do is stack it up like that. And it's only three tall, which is pretty actually insane. Um, so do that. And then let's see here. Up, up, and oop, that's just another piece wasted. And like this. So this is the general shape of what we're doing. Very tenty, don't you think? Very tenty, yes. No, it doesn't look like a ten at all. It looks like a stupid triangle that's kind of derpy with squares. The thing that makes it a ten, and the thing, the reason why we're doing this is so we're going to do this, this, and then this. So three stairs makes it go like that. And then we'll do stairs here like that. And this one doesn't need to be there. So again, on this side, it's very symmetrical. Actually, it's completely symmetrical. So you've got stairs like that. Stairs like that middle one doesn't count. Ignore that. Oh, I forgot the... I, got, I forgot an item. Uh, and then, taking advantage of our trapdoor texture, um, because it's glorious, and it, this would work. Uh, I think this would still look w pretty decent in vanilla, honestly. Um, so what we're doing is this, like that, this right here, and this up there. It won't actually, it's supposed to close, but this is like a little window. So the idea is this tent is very... It's a much more permanent style of tent. It's a set up, tear down type of tent. You can set up and tear down and all that jazz. But it is also much more of a I'm here for quite a while sort of tent. That's the goal. Um, and so I'm just putting trap doors here. And I mean, obviously, if you can't tell, I've already built this. I literally just got done building it. Um, but I... I I just got really excited. I really wanted to make this. Um, so this will go here. There'll be a door there. And this kind of bleeds into the path, but hey. Hey, man, gypsies don't care. So the door will go here. And we'll have to go like this. Oh, it's not actually going to even place. Uh, let's go with the dirt like that. Like that. Boom, boom, boom. Tent. Bada bing, bada boom. Strange looking tent. What? Zombie. Where did you even come from, friend? Honestly. Where'd you come from? Whatever. So, now we've got this cool little tent. It's like a, it's just like a little setup sort of tent. You can live here. And I think it's really, really cool. So let's go get the interior stuff. Because I, that's it for the exterior. Actually, no. Lies. I forgot. The top needs... Get out of here. This. There we go. Now it's complete. So now, completely covered. You can close the sides. You'll be completely covered. And it kind of looks like a tent. And I think it's really cool. So let's go get some more materials for the interior. We are good to go. First thing to change is, wow, I didn't realize the door was gonna open that way. First thing to change, okay, this doesn't need to be there, is the floor. This is where you start really feeling, I think, the tent. Um, just because the floor doesn't really, it doesn't feel too much like a tent if you've got, if you don't have like a soft interior. Um, so let's do wool, wool, and that those ones won't matter. So we'll do wool here, and then we'll do concrete powder. Oh, wait, no. 
can't have concrete powder there because of that issue and that issue. Uh, we, I guess we could replace those, but that doesn't matter. We'll just get rid of these and this, and then we'll replace that grass over there. And then we'll do wool, wool. And then what you can do, make some carpets just to give us a little leeway. And then do mm, right here. Uh, not there. And there. And there. And I'll break that. There. So you got a little bit of depth. And then the bed, smack in the center. And we, we want some crafting tables. I really need to get those fixed. So actually, we won't do it exactly like I did it before because crafting tables don't work. We'll do it like this. So we'll do that there. And then actually, then we can probably do some oh, did those not move no they didn't move uh we'll do a crate here and there's a crafting table on that side too yeah so we'll do there and we'll actually do this kind of reverse of what i had it so like this and then let's do let's do a crate right here and right here why not Nah, that's too much. Too much cratage. That's too little cratage. There we go. And then do a crate right there. Why not? And then we'll add some chests. Um, let's put a chest right like mm, that. There. And that can still open. That one can't. But that's okay. So I think the interior is done. Honestly, Mike, it is done. Uh, I don't have any idea where that just placed. Flat. I totally thought that was a spider. I saw red, and I don't even know. So we'll do the birch here. I think it placed on the ground over here. Yeah. Give me that. And then we'll do the fern. Boom. So now we've got a little baby tent. And it's like a, a, a homey tent. I I really like it. I really think it's cool. It's just like, it's unique. It's definitely unique. And, but I think it's really cool. I think it's a fun way to make a tent. Um, the thing that really inspired me to do this, actually, we need to get rid of this guy. Get out of here. We want, we'll put the terracotta. Boop. And boop. There we go. Should get rid of that. Yeah. Now look at this. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I was wanting. Oh, this is so homey. Like, this may be the place that I always sleep now. It's a little more dangerous over here, but this is glorious. Look at this. And we can have, they don't have to be brown. We can make colorful tints if we want to match all this area. I just wanted to start off with brown. But, oh, oh, this is glorious. Look at this. Oh, I'm so happy. But that should do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, this was kind of all over the place. We did all sorts of stuff today. But I really enjoyed it. And this tent thing really got me inspired to put some more up. I really want to put some more tents up. So we might make like this strip instead kind of tent because the wherever the, the foliage is that is like super dense like this, maybe that's tent area, not necessarily caravan area because it's too too dense for the carriages. And uh, I think that might be a good kind of lore sort of thing. Like right here works because we've got this open space. Um, and that's kind of where I've been, posi po been positioning. Like this area will work because it's not too, not too low. But this area, there's ain't no way I'd be able to get one in there. Like, I'd have to kill so much of the tree that I, I just couldn't bring myself to it. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoy this little design. I think it's really cute. Um, and yeah, so if you like the video, uh, feel free to leave a like in real life leave a like in real life man that thing that saying trips me up every time leave a like in real life and if you like what i'm doing here and you want to see more uh, feel free to subscribe join the little family we've got going here and i will see you guys in the next episode